Hello and welcome to day 40 in this quest for a 2000 rating on chess.com. So let's find an opponent and begin. And hopefully we play better than the last game. <laughs> All right. So we have white. We'll start with e4. And just see how they respond. e5. All right. Now they're thinking, maybe they're not going to play something normal. Okay, so they do. We'll play bishop to c4, the Italian game. And just see how this goes here. All right, so if they attack there, hmm. Could just protect with d3. Which I think that's what I'll do. And get ready to castle. Then we could play c3. Alright, so now I don't want them pinning this knight. I mean, does it really matter if they do? Anyway, to keep things moving, I'll go there. That at least keeps that bishop out of there. All right, so now... Do we just move forward here? Then we could swing back and keep our bishop. Maybe we'll tempt him to move his pawns over here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now we can swing back uh, down to here. So now that knight is kind of out of place, and where is it going to go? Unless he pushes forward here. Okay. Well, and now I might as well just bring this bishop up. Could play rook to e1 immediately here. So... Those are the options. Do I play rook to e1? You know, or do I keep the rook here because maybe later I could push the f pawn? Um, or do I go here to help protect this? Um, need to do something about this knight. Uh, let's just go there. And then we'll bring the knight over. Okay. Well, now he could swing back over there. All right, so we'll just go jump that knight up there. So now he's getting ready to line up there. Hmm. All right, do I push forward here? Or should I start moving in here? If I go there, we have bishop, knight, rook, all protecting. If we jump up here, Maybe we go there to help keep an eye on things. Okay, now we can develop this bishop to here. Hmm. 
and we'll just see what they decide to do next. All right, so what does this queen move do? I guess it just gets the queen off the back rank and connects the rooks, so the rooks have more room to maneuver. So what should we do here? Mm. Did that do anything more? I guess it could help push this pawn after this knight moves. And, you know, do we push forward here? And then will they capture? Oh, what is this? It looks like my internet connection is breaking. All right, well, I guess, okay, there it's back. Okay, so what did the queen move do? And should we go here with our queen? Are they going to push forward? Mm, do we push here and gain space on the queen side, but then they could capture and open this up? All right, do we just maneuver this knight? Just maneuver the knight here, and then jump it over here. Let's do that. We're burning too much time here. Too much time. Okay. So now, now we can jump forward, maybe go after his bishop. But he may push this pawn forward. And if he does that, then we can't go after <coughs> we can't go after his bishop like we planned. Because well, I don't know. No, then he could just he could only move his bishop to here. So if he pushes that pawn if we capture, he could just keep pushing forward. Okay, now what is he trying to do? All right, well, we'll leave that knight over there. Do we jump up here and go after the bishop? Hmm. Why not? We'll just jump up there. At least that puts our knight up here in his position. We can try and take out this bishop and then perhaps start opening things up. Okay. Well. Hmm. Is that a mistake? Is that a mistake? Because now we can capture the bishop. Then the queen will recapture. Then we pick this off. Then we go up here after his queen. All right, so we'll do that. Go after that. And then now we can pick that off and attack. Oh, okay, so he goes that way with it. All right. Well, we can just keep the attack going. If we go there, oh, maybe that doesn't work. So maybe we misplayed that. All right. So if we jump up here, he captures. We can't capture or our queen will be pinned. So what if we go here, he captures. Uh, Gotta be something here. Mm. 
Hmm, maybe we have to put more pressure on right here. All right. Well, I guess we're doing that. We'll just add more pressure here. And we'll just see what they decide to do next. Because now we can go ahead and attack the pawn if they capture and we recapture. We drive that rook out of there. Okay. Well. we push forward here if they capture we get their queen so we'll just try that okay All right, so do we just move forward, capture? If he captures, our knight captures. So capture, knight captures, we capture. All right, we'll just go ahead and do that. All right. So now, what do we have? What do we have here? Do we just push forward? That looks to be the move. Just push forward there. Right now, what? Oh, now we have a threat of attacking here, attacking that rook, and when it moves. We go after the Okay, so they want to do that. Well. Hmm. All right. Just go after that. And now I think we can just attack there. He could jump down to there. All right. So I don't know. I think we're we're ahead by one pawn, but let's see what we can do here. If we attack like that, hmm, does he have something better if he moves, if he moves with a check? All right. 
right if he moves with a check so if we go there if he checks us we can just capture him so i think we just attack that rook does he have a counter attack on our rook okay let's just attack his rook we'll just go ahead and do that Okay, well, now we can go after his bishop and then hit his knight. So we'll go after that. And now, oh, now we can escape and attack his rook over here. Oh, but he's putting a lot of pressure on us right there. We have to watch out with that. Hmm. All right. So now what? Now what do we do? Um, you go there. Then attack like that. Pick that off. Then What? We start picking off these pawns? Do we just pick off those pawns? Hmm. Oh, we do have this fork here. So we'll do that. Pick off his knight. And then go after his rook. All right, so I think we're good here. Because now his rook's under attack. All right. Well, let's go after that then. And then pick this off. <clears throat> we're pretty much winning now all right so they resigned okay we'll do a quick game review and okay so that game was better than the last game on day 39 which i think i played like a 62 percent accuracy something you know way lower so here we had 85.3 there were uh, no brilliant or great moves but my opponent had four inaccuracies and i had three uh, he had four mistakes to my one so we'll have to see what the mistakes were and then i had three misses so looks like i could have played some better moves here all right and in this game Looks like white you know, had a slight edge and then something happened here where I actually got behind before I took the lead again and then just moved up. So we'll take a look at that. All right, so the Italian, excuse me, the Italian game. And let's see here. So it's just kind of blasting through these moves really quick. Okay, it didn't like that move. I, I was trying to do, this is a common uh, series of moves in the 
Rui Lopez for white, where they jump up here to d2, then bring their knight to f1, and then from here it could go to g3 or e3 and kind of jump up into the position. So it looks like best here would have been to just go ahead and attack in the center <coughs> and open things up. So if we would have done that, let's say they capture here, we recapture. Mm. Yeah, it looks like we would have been okay to go ahead and do that. So the computer says if we would have attacked in the center, we would have kept our advantage. And it would have been plus five, uh, plus 0.57 for white versus 0.45 after that knight move. All right. So now it's saying we should not have captured there. <clears throat> so let's take a look at what would have been better. Just to go ahead and capture here, which, hmm, I guess that makes sense. Oh, and that makes a big difference, plus 2.89. All right, so... If we attack there first, we're aimed at this pawn. That's kind of what happened in the game. So let's take a look at the moves. So they capture. Hmm. All right, well, interesting stuff. So let's see what actually happened in the game. It didn't like that move, d4. I ignore, ignored an opportunity to capture a vulnerable pawn. So maybe it's saying I should have just captured that pawn already. Let's see. Oh, captured over here. And then if they captured. So if they captured, then we capture here. And we protect this. Now the problem is the queen is... Um, we're going to have to move that queen out of the line of fire. And this knight is pinned to the queen. Hmm. All right. Well, in the game, we pushed forward and it didn't like that. So there was something better I could have done here. Oh, all right. Well, I don't know. If if I attack that rook, the knight could move out of the way to protect it. Let's take a look at the moves here. But it says it's almost, well, plus four and a half if I would have done that. All right. Let's take a look at that again. So... Why would he jump down there? The queen's under attack. Oh, we're threatening a mate. Okay. Yep, so I overlooked that. That's something to always... I'm kind of bad at that, about uh, not looking for the mating attacks. So I probably overlooked too many mating threats by... You know, I kind of go after pieces and pawns more than I do looking to attack the king, and I need to work on that. So, anyway, once you know we're threatening the mate, they have to block here with block this bishop queen battery. All right, overlook that one. Okay, so we trade off and Bishop to e4, nice skewer attack. That x-ray attack will win you a pawn. So, anyway, we'll take a look at this stuff some more. Okay, so it says you really outplayed your opponent in that one. You played a bit better than your opponent in the opening. The middle game was messy, but you got the better of it. So, 
we played it in 19 or I played at 1900 level and he played at 1550 and so 93.3 versus 89.9 and then 71.4 versus their 50 Ooh. okay so let's take a look at the analysis and just kind of see what could have been done better so e4 e5 knight to f3 knight to c6 and then bishop to c4 is the italian game so the two main options in this are bishop to c5 or knight to f6 that's usually what people play so they chose knight to f6 and this is the two knights game you could play you know, more attacking and risky and jump up here threatening this f pawn but i decided to play safer here and just wait and see what they do so bishop to e7 castle um, now we play c3 d6 so now they're threatening to you know develop this bishop and pin the knight but the computer recommends I ignore that and just play either a3, a4, or even bishop to b3 to keep my bishop pair. So I do that and it liked a4 better. So they attack and here, because their bishop wasn't up here, I was able to keep the bishop pair by moving forward and it says that's the best move then they attack and so this kind of pulled their pawns down um, now it doesn't like that it, it prefers this move just pushing the other pawn up towards the center and giving the knight room to maneuver back here in the future all right so we retreat back and it says that's best and so now Bishop to d7 or queen to c7 is recommended, but instead they played this, and it says that's an excellent move. So now, rook to e1 is what I played, but what should I have done? Looks like d4 would be better, I'm saying that's the best move to just go ahead and break open the center here. So rook to e1, and of course d4, it likes that better. So now they play this move to prevent me, well, at least slow things down if I push this pawn. They can fight back more in the center. So, But still, it says d4 is the best move here. That or bishop to e3. And I thought about moving bishop to e3, but then i decided to just you know, move this knight and get that developed and it didn't like that it wanted d4 so they developed their bishop down you know through the center aimed at the center and this diagonal down towards the king side so it likes that move and now b3 so says that's an inaccuracy knight to f1 would have been better and after this b3 move the game is slightly in black's favor so they retreat back and it says that's best now they're helping control the center so it looks like bishop to b2 is the best move that's what we play although now it's saying a3 Queen to c7 and that's an inaccuracy that gives white the edge now better would have been to push forward here well if they pushed forward i probably would push forward and then they would jump down here i'd probably have to attack with my knight and kind of close up the center Anyway, I move here, f1, it doesn't like that, d4 is what the computer wants. 
So now the rook moves to the center. Our knight repositions, but it likes the c4 pawn push better to try and get a lock down on this d5 square. Uh, because now it's saying they should have immediately pushed here on d5. But instead, they go over here, I guess to allow this bishop room to attack, maybe to get ready to push here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they just wanted this bishop to help you know, aim down towards the king side. So we jump up here, attacking their bishop, and they just finally push forward, but now it doesn't like that. Now this is a mistake. And best is to go ahead and capture that. So we did not do that. We capture here first. They capture. Now we capture, which is best, but it's not as good as it was before. So they capture this way. It looks like the knight capture would have been better. Hmm. All right, well, let's take a look at that. So if the knight captures, well, now it recommends d4, which will give our bishop more scope because if they capture, they can't capture with this pawn because it's pinned to the queen here. Now, if we cap, if we push forward here and they capture, we capture. You know, but then this knight could jump over here and attack our bishop. So that could be an issue. All right. So in the game, the, the rook captures. Our queen moves over here. But it looks like queen to d2 would have been better. Let's see, queen to c1, the computer likes, or even c4. I guess c4 would immediately attack that rook. All right, anyway, we go there. They push forward. We push, and it does not like that. It wants the immediate capture there. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So if we would have captured there, then what? They capture. Now the knight captures. Oh, and we already looked at that. Then they go here, and we have to play d4 to protect this because we're pinned. The knight is pinned to our queen. Okay, so in the game, we had d4. They responded with this remaneuvering or repositioning of the knight back towards the center but they should have just pushed here hmm all right well let's look at that one so if they play e4 and then we just go knight to d2 we just start attacking that knight to d2 then oh this is interesting rook to g5 to line up on this g pawn with the bishop once this moves so now knight captures and then knight captures bishop captures they capture Queen captures, queen, rook, and pawn. <coughs> so we capture, the knight captures. So now where are we? Here we would be five pawns to five. So material would be even, but we have a bishop, which is better when there's pawns on both sides of the board. Our rook is under attack. Oh, no, we would pick this off next. And then we would be in the lead. So knight to d2. Attacking here. Um, although it prefers this move, attacking the rook. Because now we have rook to e2. 
knight to c4 attacking our bishop and bishop to a3 lining up on this knight takes rook takes and we would just be ahead there by a pawn i mean the game would still be close i mean if we put pressure on this pawn white has an advantage so we could put a rook here attacking this put the other rook there and piling up um, and then if one of the rooks got behind this pawn there could be a little trick of well, I guess I could show you here. So now it's recommending h5 for black. Let's see, h5. So now if we go rook to b2 attacking here, they go rook to e8. We go... h4 rook to d5 king to f1 over here f1 g6 okay so finally one option is to just go here put pressure on this so what do they do they can't really protect this. If they go rook to b8, well, can we play c3 here? Something like this. Oh, they could counterattack here. They could just take this. You know, and then we go here. Uh, and then this pawn is kind of harder to protect the king could possibly come out here and help go after it in the future um anyway let's see it didn't like c4 so a better move instead would be let's take a look king to e2 get the king up here and involved okay let's get back to the game and finish this out so we exchange here in the middle. They drop back to protect that, but better would have been rook to e8. So now, I mean, I guess we might as well take a look at rook to e8 real quick. So rook to e8, because now we don't want to take this. Because they have, what, one, two, three, four defenders. And if we take their knight... Well, then they'll pick off our queen, and if we recapture, then they'll come out a rook here for this knight. So now best is b takes c4. b takes c4. And so now this e6 move actually works here. Queen to c5. So looks like that's best lining up on our king. We capture here with check. The king captures. Um, but now, queen to f1. Just attacking the rook. So they could capture and then we would recapture with our rook. But it looks like knight to e5 is better. So now we would capture. Um, this rook would capture. So we go ahead and capture. Uh, the rook captures. And now bishop to c1 is the best move. Bishop to c1. Okay, I guess bishop to c1 would allow our bishop to swing down here and then move back up and attack their queen, you know, and jump up here maybe and just protect this pawn. Okay, and we have to watch out for this possible queen and bishop battery with a threat of mate here. So right now the queen is guarding. 
Okay, back to the game. We push forward. It did not like that move. It says that's a miss, but White is still ahead here. So they capture. Now, uh, it would have been better to capture with the queen. And here it says bishop to e4 is the best move. Doing that move now, attacking this. So let's take a look at that. Attack. And now... Hmm. It also recommends moving the bishop over here. So what do they do here? They let us take the rook. Knight to d8 is the best move. Knight to d8. And then we pick the rook off, it looks like. Although, we could, if they do that, it recommends capturing with the pawn first. Or even a4. So anyway, uh, I don't want to dig too deep and we'll just finish this game out. So we trade off here in the center. So you know, if we take a look at this. They capture. We capture with a check. We trade off pieces. And now they jump here. We capture. They capture the wrong way. Rook capture would have been better. And that's what I thought they were going to do in the game. So if we look at that, the rook capture. Now, if they capture with the rook, it looks like our best move is to bring our other rook out. So instead, they captured with the knight. And now that lets us play bishop to e4, which is best. Pinning this rook to the bishop. I mean, I guess the... The rook could go up here and protect it, but then you know, we could pick that off and then go after the knight. Um, so it looks like best here is knight to d3. And they did not play that. So they go down here to attack. Um, knight to d3 immediately would have been better. And now it says bishop to a3, moving our bishop out of the line of fire from the knight and attacking the other rook. So, I don't know, is that worth looking at? We kind of saw that stuff in the game, I believe. So bishop to e4, they jump down here. Uh, we attack here first, and it says that's best. So now, rook takes b2 is the second best move. Um, rook to b8, attacking that bishop is better. But anyway, we're going to come out ahead in material here. So in the game, they jump down here. Now it's saying that is best. But... That gives us time to attack their other rook. And now rook takes f2 is the best move, and that's what they played, although it's saying b4 would have been better. Hmm. All right. So now we capture with check. It says that's the best move. The king runs out here, and now rook to f8 is best. So we go ahead and do that. They move. We capture. Now the knight capture is the best here. Instead, they captured with the rook. And this allows bishop to e4 with check. The king moves. Now we pick off the knight. The rook captures over here, so I don't know. They must have been frustrated at this point because rook to f7 would be best, but they're just so behind in material. Um, rook to f7 would have been the best move, or rook just captures on g2 here. But at this point, we're just so far ahead in material, so we just capture, they capture, then we go after that. Looks like bringing the king up would have been better. So we go ahead and pick that off. And 
they resigned at this point at rook to d2 so the game may have continued with pawn push capture they push forward we capture they capture capture and white is just too far ahead in material here all right well i hope you enjoyed that game a little better than yesterday's I don't know, horrifying loss. <laughs> and uh, there were some interesting tactics in this. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave comments or suggestions or any requests for you know, any chess material you'd like to see in the future. And also, uh, if you haven't liked or subscribed, feel free to do so to support the channel. So thank you for watching and have a super chess day.